Today's episode is on winter tips and tricks to stay dry and warm. All right, now we're ready. Now we're ready for winter riding. So, Here's some conventional ideas and here's some non-conventional ideas. So to start off with, always, always, always layers beat a thick jacket any day of the week. So having layers is a good idea. A good thick winter jacket, we got layers. So we got thermal layer, we have a waterproof layer, and then we've got the outer layer. Gotta have a rain jacket. Now, one little tip about the rain jackets. Some jackets have hoods and some don't. If you have the hood, you can run up into your helmet and that way the water doesn't run down your back. One more layer. Let's talk about if it's really, really cold. So for me, heated gear is a great idea. They're thin, you can always regulate the temperature, you plug it into the bike, endless, endless heat. Don't forget the gloves. They also plug in perfectly. Now, let's just say you don't want to have all the heated gear and all the wires and, and getting electrocuted when it leaks through. So, here's one more idea. If you don't have a bike with heated grips, these are way worth the time and effort to put on your bike. So I suggest getting something where you can warm up your hands. Even if they're wet, if they're warm, you're much happier. Okay, now we're getting down to the fun stuff. So let's just say you go out on a ride and then you realize, oh shoot, I didn't bring the right stuff. Stop by the store and you grab yourself some sporting glue gloves or some ski gloves. Now, these work really well in the snow, but on the motorcycle with the wind, not so much. But to make these more waterproof, pick up some heavy duty water repellent spray or some kind of coating to put on the outside. It'll add a little extra repellency. If you don't have a problem with budget, buying a really nice pair of motorcycle gloves for the winter, not a bad idea. And here's the feature I'm always looking for is right here along the, the finger, they've got a wiper. So when you get all that water up on your shield, you can just squeegee it off just like a windshield wiper. If you truly, truly, truly want waterproof hands, there's a couple ways to do that. You can get some nitrile gloves and slide them inside. Now your gloves will be wet, but your hands will be dry and the thermal layer keeps you very, very warm. Of course, the disadvantage here is your gloves are soaked through. So if you're on a trip and there's no way to dry them out, you're still gonna have wet gloves in the morning. Another option is to put waterproof over your gloves. In this case, take your riding gloves so you have a nice thermal layer. Get the largest gloves you can. These are a chemical glove from a hardware store. Oversized dish gloves will do the same thing. This is guaranteed to keep your hands dry and warm. I do like warm feet. If you're looking for something more conventional, socks that have waterproof liners in them, so you can wear this in the boot. Or my personal favorite is the plastic bag. In a pinch, you can go to a grocery store. They're a little bit thinner, but they work very well. Otherwise, you get a little thicker bag like this, and it'll last you quite the trip. When you get to the top, you wrap the top. If you're lucky enough to have some tape, you can tape the bag on tight. Voila, easy waterproof boots. You can also put bags over the top of the boot, but you'll need to tape them in place so the wind doesn't destroy the bag as you're riding down the road. This is your new rain jacket. Now, as you can see, if I start going down the road, this is gonna tear clean off of me. And voila, a great option to go over your riding gear if you get surprised by the weather. Okay, so we're dry, now we need to stay warm. Find yourself a paper. There we go, I look good. Once you put your jacket on, nobody on the outside world's gonna know what's going on. 
So the last little tidbit I have for warmth is a hand cover. This one's Hippo Hands. And these go over the handlebars. So as you're on the bike, your hands slide into the controls and they're completely protected from all the weather. The final part of this is just being able to see while you're out there. When all the rain comes down and all the road grime is on your helmet, we've got issues. So if you have a helmet with a pin lock system, that's a wonderful way to keep the shield from fogging up on the inside. But it doesn't help keep the rain from building up and all the road grime so you can't see. Conventionally, you can use something that is designed to beat off water, such as a rain -X. Been using this for 27 years, haven't had a problem on a helmet yet. If you're a Plexus fan, a Plexus is a great cleaner and will leave a polished film. When you wax your motorcycle, then wax your helmet, take that same car wax or bike wax and put it over the shield. And you can polish it off and that will also beat off. Be careful, some of them have a polish and an abrasion in there. Take an old shield, try it on the old shield, make sure it's not gonna cause a problem. Carrying some sort of a kit that allows you to keep your shield clean while on the road, without scratching it. Again, if you go to the gas station, just grab soap and smear it on. A lot of times you can scratch up your shields. So having a dedicated cleaner, not a bad plan. These are some of the best tips I've come up with over the last 30 years. And they kind of fit every budget. So whether you have a lot of money or you're on the side of the road with no money and no shops, stay dry, stay warm, and share your tips in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Send me some stickers for my toolbox.